Okay, guys, looks like everything's loaded up right. I'm not sure about the sounds there. It's got like barely a peg there and it's not going up. So we're going to start and just uh, hope for the best. Yep, that helped. Okay. Yes. This is the report so far. Certainly, we will transfer the prisoners as requested. Her. Just a pretty murder. It makes no difference, does it? Understood. I will refrain from making such remarks in the future. If you'll excuse me. Oh, wait. What about the crazy little man? At once, I will transfer him as well. I'm on my way now. Destiny, a cruel word. Always in the path of misery and regret. Everlasting. Oh my dear. I have seen it time and time again. Never discriminating. What is our ultimate fate? Who makes our path? Are we ever in control? That is one of the answers we as humans must find. Funny thing is, will we ever find it? Hello, sir, prosecutor. Well, uh, yeah, what the? Oh, okay. Welcome to my little game. Try to win, if you can, Phoenix, right? My revenge shall be swift. July 2nd, 8.45 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. A new day, a new trial, always the same path. This time I find myself taking a most unusual trial. Old faces, new challenges. Now I'm ready. I always will be. Nick, good morning. Of course it'll be there. Oh, good morning, Maya. I wasn't expecting you here so early today. Nick, please, I'm secretary of the right and go to the offices. Of course, I wasn't gonna miss it. Point well taken, say. Where is Pearls? I haven't seen her all day. Sorry for my crappy reading, guys. I don't know. She said she had to take care of something. Yeah, I don't know what she meant. This is my friend. She's my friend and assistant, as well as my spirit leader. Supposedly in friend. Everything's her sister passed on. She's the only one who would never fail in assisting me. She's also the one who's almost always empty my wallet by making me take her out for burgers. Well, that's not very nice, Nick. Your wallet troubles are completely your fault. I forgot to add the rents to this week, Nick, so I gotta get caught up on the dough. Don't miss the landlord's fury. Sigh. Maya, it's. Pearl's chances are she's off buying something to celebrate our divine union. No comment. Uh, I think it's time for a trial to start. Let's go, come on. Oh, well, not pull so hard. Hey. Oh. Thank you again for taking my case, Mr. Wright. With that voice. Oh, you again. That's perfect. Hello, you must be my FA, Mr. Wright's assistant. I owe you an apology. The best person thing. My, it's okay. She's not out together. She's not gonna eat us either. She's my client. Really? I think that piece will be fast. Today I'm paying my dues. My name is. Vasquez. 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 Da da da. That was then, this is now. This is Dubacus, my client today. She's the next producer of Steel Sunrise TV show. A couple of years ago, she was unfortunately involved in a murder. Murder, I inflicted her in. I, I indicted her, sorry. Uh, and I found her guilty, even though it was accidental. Of course, it's not the only thing she's been through. Her love renewal was like six or seven years ago. In a big clash of irony, the murder was also accidental. And now you found me. Ironic that a man caught me does not help me. Interesting twist. This requires you did not commit this murder. I'll prove it. I understand. Ow. Ow. I hurt my foot. I wasn't reading. Ow. Oh. 
of question mark. If Nick trusts you, then I trust you too. Or else I'm not the assistant of right company thing, I guess. Thank you. Before we go to court, just to confirm, can you tell us about the day you crime again? Certainly. Last night. It must have been around 7 p.m., give or take a few or three minutes. The power was out in a strong storm. I was sleeping myself. It gets boring, a lot. But you have no idea how many things are wrong with that sentence. Anyway, I was just waking up and suddenly I heard a commotion. I told my cell to check. To my surprise, my cell was unlocked, so I take a look at maximum security. When I got there, I saw a man in red lying on the floor. He was apparently unconscious, but bad enough. I noticed the smell of smoke. It was disgusting, so I went in, and I was horrified. It was insane. The body, it was on fire. The head was even stabbed. I fell on my knees from the shock, then it hit me. I needed the help. So I was about to get up when I saw the prosecutor arriving. He told me to stay where I was, so I did. I believe I was... And solitary cell block Ultra Mega One. Well, that's a stupid name, and it sounds ridiculous. That's because the name is foreign in origin, my Foreign, we should remember that tidbit just in case. Yes, there are actually words that have an origin in two languages Latin and Greek. Ultra means beyond, and Mega means great. Put them together, and you have creepy, and you get a creepy phrase. You get a phrase that's translated great beyond. Kind of fitting for solitary confinement. Eek. That's so creepy. Tell me about it, I guess. The rest is history. I was under arrest suspicion of murder. I called for your help. And here we are. That's outrageous night. You just wanted to help. Mr. Phoenix, right? Court is about to be in session. Please proceed to the courtroom. Looks like the trial is starting. Let's go. We have quite a bit to do today, Miss Fez, Fez person thing. Yes, let's. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a defense attorney, an officer of the law. Today, I'm taking an unusual case, of course. In the standard fare, a murder. But this is an unusual one. My client is because ex producer of Gold Studios. Even though I sent her to prison, I decided to believe her and take the case. No defense attorney is willing to take her case. I couldn't just say no. She's innocent. And like my mentor, my FA, before me, I will always believe in my client. Say, Nick, why do you take this case anyways? You remember she tried to kill us, right? Yes, but you'll see. My, I know you'll understand once this is over. And my uh, too. July 2nd, 9 o'clock, District Court Room number 1. Oh, that is a weird rumbling noise of people not shutting up. Court is now in session for trial of Miss Davis Wills. The prosecution stands ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Ms. Vincarma, your opening statement, if you please. Davis Wills is the next producer of Global Studios. And is the one who killed the poor unknown people. Thomas Pride is that perfection today will prove the defendant guilty naturally. And now I yawn. Uh, because I'm doing this currently at 12 14 in the morning. <laughs> and this is for Jessica Von Karma, aka the uh, Prodigy's Prosecutor of Germany. Something like this. She's been prosecuting since age 13 and had a perfect record until I am destroyed. Apologies for sure my whip. It's left zone to see it's in some people. As you as you can see she strives to be the very best that no one has ever was. When does this turn into Pokemon? Interesting, isn't she? Nokama created is that one in perfection. Don't forget that, Phoenix Raid. I can hear everything and I can hear everything you say, Phoenix Raid. Oh dear, as you can hear flare, dramatic, and spring. What's the matter, Phoenix, right? Can't, can't get your tongue. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! 
Defense request that the prosecution refrain from personal attacks on the court. Why is she so confident today? Whoa, where is her desk? Her desk wasn't there, and it was just her, and I'm scared. Defense request is... Dot dot dot. Overruled. Please forget this discussion. The capable prosecution. I applaud your honest wisdom. Surely the foolish fool in this court, the fools shall learn. Who died and made her queen? She looks so safe, so, you know, forget it, not worth it. Am I exhibiting your self control? What I would give for Edgeworth to see her like this. Now then, Miss Wonkarma, please call your first witness. The prosecution calls the detective in charge of the case to stand. Scruffy, get up here. Scruffy! Okay, Scruffy. Oh, I know you. Name an occupation now. The gumshoe. Detective. Sir. You seem awfully quiet and to the point today, Detective. This is the gumshoe. Call us out, Detective. You're preparing to do something. We've crossed fast before. He's very clumsy and makes mistakes fairly easy, I'm afraid. I'm still here. I'm missing, pal. But he has a hearty goal of cliche, as it is. Plus, he loves his job, so I guess he's an okay guy. Now that's a better description, pal. But is there more than just okay guy if you catch my drift, pal? The judge is right. Why is he so quiet today? He almost seems scared. Oh, wait. It's one karma. Poor detective, he looks like he's seen a ghost. The reality is, there's something. Is irrelevant. Now go on and testify before I whip rises. Before my whip rises from the grave. Okay, whatever. The murder occurred last night at the detention center, sir. The body was found in a solitary cell. The victim's identity is currently unknown because his face was burned off after the dead, sir. After the deed, 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 after the dead, yeah. In the crime scene, there was a bullet wound in the heart, along with a knife stuck in the head. The knife in question bears the fence fingerprints, but also another set, unknown to us. And the bullet appears to be the same in the story. There's also a bottle of nail polish found there. That's all, sir. Okay, play. <laughs> Well, that's it. that's all consists and fits the autopsy report. I don't like that noise. Accidentally, excellently done, Scruffy. You've saved me the trouble of disciplining you properly. The Nile here is ridiculous. I wonder how Sis feels about it. But hey, what do I know? I'm in the Nile here, and she thinks it's ridiculous. Regardless of the circumstances, the court accepts these items in evidence. Autopsy report add to the court record. Knife add to the court record. Bullet add to the court record. Shouldn't polish add to the court record. I believe it's because of me, Your Honor. Oh, I just got real. I just got real. I just got. Oh. It's been a while, Your Honor. Jessica, right? Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, I'd like to bring this you to my court. This is Miles Edgeworth. He is the famous prosecutor who I've known since I was a kid. Which is why he's a good friend of mine. Edgeworth was the best student in our class. Until his father was shot. After that, I never saw him again. And so he became prosecutor. One thing led to another, and... I saved him from his own fate. I defended him, and found... Possibly the greatest prosecutor to have lived in America. He was a really cruel man. He used underhanded tactics and rigged trials, so he'd always win. However, he is no longer in the world of living. He currently passed away. Recently! Oh my god, passed away. Yeah. 
Now with a happier note, it is my pleasure to tell you that Edgeworth is the closest Shut up now. Foolish fool with foolish cloth taking out his foolish clothes and the frost gets what? So much fool. I mean witness. Hold it! Hold it! I'll have you know this is a crap crab crab that you know what? Skip it. Poor Edgeworth being picked on his fashion statement. It's nice to see this side of him for once. And you remove that stupid grin, right? Ah, let us listen to the testimony. Because you found the body, please show us what happened on the day of the murder, Miles. Witness testimony. Last night, there was some pretty bad weather. As a result, the power had gone out, out in the center. I went there to assist with some overdue prisoner transfers. I received a call at 6.50 p.m. I was receiving my orders when I suddenly was struck in the head and lost consciousness. The last thing I remember hearing was a voice screaming out, a gunshot, and a knife stabbing. When I woke up, I saw the defendant kneeling over the body. The very cursed through exclamation. And then I called the authorities upon arresting the defendant. Oddly, my phone wasn't was in the body's pocket. So in other words, you were transferring prisoners when you were attacked by one of them. Yes. Though eventually we got all the prisoners, it was careless of me for that, I'm sorry. Useful bit of information, better keep it in mind, just in case. No, 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 you're only doing your job, nothing to apologize for, it happens to the best of us. What do you think, Nick? Looks simple enough, Edward's not a type to make mistakes. That's not the thing. It, it's got... As many holes as pack Swiss cheese before arriving at pizza. But. Okay. Huh? Really? If the defense is done gossiping, you'd like to see Mr. Wright's cross examination. Oh, excuse me, mister. Can I ask you something? Oh, how can I help you? Since when it's okay to interrupt court proceedings out of the blue. I want to be a lawyer when I grow up, but this is my first time in a trial. Can you please explain what a cross-examination is, mister? <laughs> well, i the brain boy. Well. Okay. Uh, what a nice example of a new generation is giving us. Certainly can't explain this concept. This child certainly shows much more potential and courage than the shoddy defense over there. So, Mr. Phoenix Wright, care to explain the concept of testimony and cross-examining? What, what does she think she is, Cleopatra? <laughs> Mr. Wright, we're waiting. Please explain to the little one how we do things here. <laughs> that nod. Yes, you're on it right away. If only to avoid the penalty. Well, whenever the court asks someone for a testimony, it means they want to know about what. Well, they want to know about what happened, or a witness, like when she was doing the crime scene, or a victim's condition. During this time, the defense and the prosecution listens closely to the testimony. <laughs> After that, the defense and the prosecution engage in what we call cross-examination. We press the witness on certain points for information, or to clarify certain facts. If new information arises pressing other matters, uh, witness then amends testimony. My job as defense attorney is to find any contradictions within the testimony, intentional or not. If something doesn't fit with the evidence, or the facts so far, then it's a contradiction. I then have to present evidence or contra the contradictory statement or a person's profile. But if I'm wrong, then I have to receive a penalty. If I get too many, I will lose the case for sure. Of course, those aren't the, the only ways to expose contradiction, but they vary with the cases. Also, I might be asked a couple times to examine pictures, maps, or items to find a contradiction. But I believe I've covered all of that I can regarding testimonies and examinations. Do you get it now? Yes, that was very concise. What was the point of this? Ah, uh, that was just extra reading. Okay. I think this is for, like, the beginners, like me, but I know a little bit more. 
because my f Steam friend, Phoenix Wright, <laughs> already has filled me in on everything. So, thank you very much for your time, Phoenix Wright, or Mr. Wright. I must say that you covered a lot more than I thought. R really? <coughs> what the frick? <laughs> Draw a cocky yeti excuse for a teacher. Why are you whipping me? I'm not even a teacher. I can't even play the piano right. Now that second care, please receive your cross examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth Y. Alright. We're gonna press on everything. The bad weather as a result. The power had gone out of the center. We know how bad the weather was yesterday, but just to make sure about how bad it was at the time. It started around noon as very light present, but by around 6 p.m. it was a watery nightmare. Yes, so there was harsh yesterday. Water splash mud dark water beard words. It's a sight to behold, I'm sure. I went there to assist some overdue prison and transfer as I received a call at 6 50 p.m. The defense may who call at the time? Could you summarize your phone call, Mr. Edgeworth? The district attorney's office, of course. They were rather short-handed at the officials at the time due to the sudden thunderstorm. They asked someone at the prosecution for the help and the detention center for some time. If that's the case, where were the policemen in charge of the center then? I find that highly odd. Several flash floods were reported in the vicinity, so all the hands were aiding on the emergencies. That makes sense, considering the severity of the storm. One of my relatives at Grand Gutton Gold, yeah, whatever. There's something about what you just said doesn't fit, but how can I... Make, you know, but how... But I can't do much better right now. So I might as well remember it for later and concentrate on the more obvious parts. I was receiving my orders when suddenly I was struck in the head and I lost consciousness. Hold it! Hold it! We were receiving some sort of orders at the time. Are you the only one to receive those? No, not as far as I know. Though I didn't see many prosecutors as I expected. In your area, how many prosecutors were close by? Did you ever notice that? To be honest, I'm not sure. That wasn't on my attention span at the moment. I don't mean to make any excuses, but that's precisely why this whole thing happened. Dot dot dot. <laughs> last thing I remember was hearing a voice screaming out, a gunshot, knife stabbing. Press. Hold it. Slam. Are you absolutely sure that's what you heard? You're sure of that fact? Yes, I'm positive. At least, I say this with absolute certainty, as far as my memory serves me. What about the voice? Was it a man or a woman, and how could you be sure you heard stabbing? Right, I've been a prosecutor for years, I think I'd recognize these, those basic sounds. As for the voice, it sounded very androgynous, but it sounded pretty forced, as if pretending. Were you with any prisoners at the time of the accident? No, but I was on my way to pick a prisoner. Some hack who fancied himself an officer of the law. I'll make a note of that for later. Sounds like a detail that can be useful later on. If this is not relevant to the case, then I'd like to proceed with the testimony. When I woke up, I saw a defendant kneeling over the body. I had a curse for the examination. Press. Hold it. I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Edgeworth, but can you enlighten us as the body's condition? There's not a lot to say. The body was on the floor with a knife plunged in its forehead cleanly. Or the poor boy to commit murder. There's also the matter of the burnt face as well as fingers. There were also a couple of things. There was a gunshot wound in the heart and a bottle of nail polish in the victim's hand. That wasn't mentioned before. I did not originally think that it mattered. In retrospect, not my smartest move. My apologies. There's a bottle. Here's the bottle in question. As you can see, it's not particularly a big bottle. Well, that's not very interesting in the least. And what is that familiar smell? Then I called the authorities upon arresting the defendant. Oddly, my phone was in the body's pocket. 
Edgeworth, where is your phone? I don't have it with me at the, at the moment since it's evidence at all. This is a foolish fool cell phone that was found in the victim's pocket. <coughs> As I stated previously. The court accepts this as evidence. Cell phone out of the court record. Well, Nick, find anything? At first, the testimony looked simple. The problem was where to start finding contradictions. The address unknowingly made sense, making a mess of things. Last night, there was some pretty bad weather as a result. The power had gone out. Center. Okay. What I think we need to do... I want to do... I'm just gonna try... I'm gonna try... For this... Nail polish. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! The witness testimony is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Not in the mood right overruled. CRAP! Judge's name, penalty is the game. Oh my god. Well... Wait, I, I don't understand, like... Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. Uh, but... Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Okay. Top C report. Unknown, code name, sometime between 5 and 7 p.m. to do here. Um, what will happen if I try to, um, what? Can I, like, will I get anything different? No, I won't. So I need to start trying to, um, contradict stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see the body. Defend it. Try to present the phone, I think. Objection! Please do something correctly. This testimony is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Not the what am I supposed to do? Like truthfully, I don't know. Oh my god. Uh Present this thing. Objection! Objection! What do you want me to do? I don't understand what you want me to present. Is there somewhere specific I need to present it? Uh, so stupid. Have an idea. God dang it! Where was the stupid thing? Stop it! Hold it! 
So, if... No, I can't. I thought I could do something here. So... Uh, I don't know what to do. The only thing is I haven't tried with the knife and the bullet, but I feel like they have to be at certain places. Wait, did I try this at this part kind of thing here? Objection! Objection! What do you want me to do, sir? Present the knife. Objection! Objection! What am I... I've now tried everything. I have literally tried nearly everything. Only thing I could think to use at this point would be the stupid autopsy report. Objection! Yay! Oh my god. And that's how you play a game with complete bullcrap. So... Uh, let's try to figure this out here. Either you're gonna about to see a scene where I figure something out, or it's about to be the end of the video. So, here you go. Okay, guys, I eventually figured it out. Um, I had to use the cell phone where he mentioned getting the call there's apparently something fishy about it oh no so now that I add that I'm gonna save just in case I screw up again <laughs> I feel I will I'll call it about 6.50 p.m. but how are we to believe what he said and that begs the obvious question what does it con- why does it contradict the evidence? Francesca Get on with it already, Mr. Phoenix, right? What's the problem with saving a life? Why does the phone have no fingerprints, memory, numbers, or phone call information? The witness has testified that he received the phone call at 6.50, 20 minutes before the murder. In that case, you'd think there would be some sort of proof for arresting... ...attesting to that fact. Things this phone does not have. This is a huge oversight on prosecution's part. <laughs> Da -da -da, crowd arguing. Order, order in the court. Objection! Objection! No, you're not allowed to object. Only Phoenix Wright's allowed to object. The last number ever dialed from that phone was not one. You have to conceal that. Uh, consult that. I don't even know. Even if the memory was deleted by a complete accident, Edward still called to get back. Up. Objection! Sorry, but your argument does not coincide with this evidence. As previous day, the phone is completely clean, no memory, no fingerprints, how is possible? I give you the phone, but maybe you should call 911, but insist that it was Edgeworth. For all we know, maybe it isn't Edgeworth's cell phone. That explains... Why... That, that explains... How and why did the cell phone vanish? Edward's purse... I don't even know. I don't even care. It's, I can't read. I'm sorry. Order, order, order. It looks like we need to hear some more testimony from you, Mr. Edgeworth. Objection! That won't be necessary for a moment, Your Honor. You see, the defense made a mistake. What's your point? How sure are you the facts regarding the crime? Do you really know as much as we do? You and I have patience, Mr. Karma. What is the meaning of this interruption? Prosecution has learned a very interesting fact during the investigation to prove it. The prosecution calls the defendant Dean McGrath to witness stand immediately. Okay. Question mark? I mean, exclamation point? <laughs> the defense subjects it's too early to ask for the defendant's testimony at this time. Objection! No. It's the perfect time, Mr. Phoenix, right? Would you like to know why is that? Because the defendant admitted 
to finding the body before any of us. She what? Order, order, order in the court. She didn't tell me of that. You're being awfully quick and over and overconfident today. My whip agrees, Miles Edgeworth. Therefore, you'll testify about your pathetic phone. And the indiscriminating evidence uh, undoubtedly points to the defendant. Or I'll leave for the night. I ain't coming back. Simple and clean. Dot dot dot. Evidence found. Witness testimony. During my cursory examination, I found several things worth noting in the body. First, the knife. It was found firmly in the victim's forehead. Two prints were found. The defendant and... and others. Then the victim's face. It was a terrible sight. Face, fingers, feet, fingers, too. Charred. Feet, fingers, really. Thank you. Also, there were no teeth. It was very strange, but it appears the murder was... Premeditated. Yeah. As the phone, I have a problem. It's not simply, it's simply not possible for its data to have been erased. I got a call from the DA's office, and the phone was new. I got it the day before yesterday. Oh, God. Oh. That's one of the most gruesome murders I've ever seen in my entire life. How horrible! Indeed. Plus that bullet in the defense with the defense fingerprints on it. There's just no way it's not her. Talk about being between sword and wall, literally. No matter what you try, you're doomed today, Mr. Phoenix, right? Now, now, no. No need for the animosity. Mr. Wright, please proceed. Even address is too vague. I need as much information as I can get. Cross examination. Evidence found. Okay, so we're gonna save the game in case I screw up again. Oh, you cannot save while text is typing. Don't care. New save. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. During my cursory examination, I found something that uh, first body and the knife. Okay, well, yeah, first the knife. Edgeworth. You said the face and fingers were completely burned, is that correct? Yes, that's right. It was rather gruesome, so I'd rather not remember it. Yes, I must agree. The less we refer to it, the better. Likewise, but sadly, we must revisit the image. Has there been trouble with identifying the victim? I'm afraid so. I was just getting to that, actually. Before you continue, what about the bullet in the victim? Sorry. You haven't mentioned it. I almost forgot. It only had the same fingerprints as the knife. The defendants and the unknown set. I see. Please continue. Also, there were no teeth. It was very strange. It proves the murder was preeminent. Something. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Okay, I read it. Okay, we're gonna check the autopsy report. Because I am confused. No teeth. I think this would assist on the no teeth, wouldn't it? Objection! Okay, that didn't work. I think there's something faulty here, Your Honor. I think. Ow. Sorry. My fingers slipped. I hate you. Okay, lay off, lady. Jeez. Then my first re-examination. I try the phone again, maybe? Objection. No. Ah. The end, okay. Now we go to a new save. Well, to our save. Okay. Alright. We're gonna keep trying stuff, I'm just gonna say. This is gonna be a lot of Objection. guess and check. 
Crap. Crap. Arr. Present the autopsy report because we can. Ow. I hate you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Yeah, there's. Okay. Uh. No. Come on. One stop typing. No. Okay. So, <laughs> new plan. Um. Now we're gonna present the autopsy report. Objection! It didn't work. Shut up. Okay. And we can spot you. Stream besides Facebook. Okay. So. If it doesn't have finger, if his fingers burnt, then like the thing has something to do with it. Apparently not. I'm no good at this. <laughs> Let's just try the phone again because we can. Is it cell phone? Objection. Erection. I'm getting tired of this. According to your testimony, you saw the knife in the burnt body, and no teeth, am I right? Yes, you are correct. Did you notice the bullet at the time, or the wound at least? The head shake. No, but I knew it was gunshot, and I found out about the fingerprints later via a certain contact of mine. There's a problem with the story, and a huge one. I, I begin with the question, where is its gun? What? Eureka! <laughs> As if there wasn't anything to find, or at uh, the bar that words. The killer may have taken the gun during the escape. Your argument is truly, but, but, uh, Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> Incorrect. Excuse me. Didn't Ezra say that all the escapees were apprehended before they all escaped? It doesn't destroy your item, but it does inject a fairly large amount of doubt into it. Question mark. I mean, exclamation point. Therefore, we have no proof the gun was lost. But we could have no proof the killer took it. Gah! But if what the defense says is true, then we have no real suspect. Huh, the prosecution would like to face the defense's argument head on. Mr. Phoenix right. you know what most crime must swear by evidence said before. I assume you can find a foolish backup, your foolish claim, with some very foolish evidence, foolish fool. Can you really pull it off, Nick? I think so, I just have to think over carefully and check the court record very closely. When you think about it, there's only one possible way to make it click in place. Very well, the defense will present proof of what problem with the testimony. Oh god. 
Save the game. Save the game. <laughs> Save the game. Save the game. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, I only have a couple twists here. So. Um. Strong testament. Strong testament. Strong testament. Strong testament. The chat thing. Take that. The autopsy report. <laughs> I think the autopsy report is blah 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 burned and such and blah. Yes. What? Address was not. Knocked out for 20 minutes. The body is shot, stabbed, and burned. How? If the bullet is there, where is the gun that fired it? Who or what killed the victim? Order! Order! No! Miss Regworth! Edgeworth's call all that around 6 p.m. At this time, he was knocked out. Say, Francesca, when was that body found? Dot 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 Prosecution will answer the question immediately. Dot dot dot. 7 10 p.m. After security assault there, confirm block one. I thought so. Mr. Edwards came through, the fence the fence was kneeling over the body. Why? There's also the matter of security. Where's the security at the time? Isn't that weird? Yeah, the one, there's a cell phone and bottle. They were all they were all fine and weren't burnt. How is that possible? Lies. In about 20 minutes space of time, as long as this, uh, doubts exist, we must question the testimony. Sadly for the prosecution, Mr. Wright, tables have turned, Mr. Edgeworth. We'll have to testify. About his location, actions before the attack on the defendant's baby. Well, whatever. Y yes, Your Honor. What was I doing? And okay, new testimony, new save. We can delete these other four, I think. Actually, we'll delete that too and just save right here. So I had no idea what just happened. Okay, I see what you mean, but remember the storm had taken away some of the security. As a result, few cops and us and prosecutors were in their vicinity. Let's see, I was in a max security area on the first floor. After I was called, I was about to hang up, and that's when I was sick. I tried to get up, but I failed. When I woke up, I didn't know how much time passed. There was a strong stench of something burning, so I got up and went into the cell. There I saw the defendant. If she was... If she was acting, she's a real... If she was acting, she's really good. She was genuinely concerned. After my cursorious yeah, cursory examination, I arrived. Uh, rest, rested. Don't, don't even try to insult me, cause I corrected it. Arrested the defendant. She was quite cooperative. The body looked like it was buried a while ago. It was actually, it was totally out of place, if you ask me. Mr. Edgeworth, this is very much unlike you. You're not this careless with your words. I apologize to the court for my mistakes. I want to do what I can to make up for it. Your testimony will suffice, Mr. Miles, the fool at truth. Doesn't she have anything else to criticize? I guess she's run out of subjects. This is an overhead map of the first floor. It's an outline until we find a better map. I see, this reminds me they ignored the design I submitted for their modeling in the Tension Center. Sorry. Oh well, the court accepts this in evidence. First floor map added to the court record. Good luck, Nick. Cross examination, what was I doing? Shut up. New save. I see what you mean, but remember that storm had taken away some of the security. Okay. There's all few cops, prosecutors, and the city. And sales on max security area on the first floor. Objection. Dang it! <laughs> I'll take that, I'll take that penalty now. Well, if it stopped typing, that would help. Okay. Safe. Alright, alright, alright. No, bad. 
Bad. Bad. Let's do this! Objection! Oh my god! Oh crap! Okay. Can't see crap. I feel like I need this picture for something. Oh my god. Only like good evidence we're running on here is a picture. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Shut up! Oh. Oh. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh my god. I, I don't know. Why? Oh my gosh. Ah, shut up. Back all things considered, weren't you in some sort of daze or something? I'll admit I wasn't thinking straight. My mind was focused on checking my surroundings. Hmm. Press harder. The best request is that the witness amend his testimony with a recent fact. The defense request is granted, Mr. Edgar, please. Right away, Your Honor. I was a bit disoriented until I gradually got my senses back. Yeah, I saw the defendant. He was acting. Okay. Gradually got my senses back. Okay. Ow. Press. Is there something wrong with being generally concerned with the body? You're a criminal, yes. Flawed box with the squad, carry on. How did the defendant behave during this incident? She was a quiet individual and carried a rather partic particular smell, stronger than the smell. Needless to say, she was 
How do I say this? Nice. Properly. Lance is suspicious about the appearance. The appearance of the hair. No, he's still closing her eyes, standing blood and too dark for her skin. Uh, something. She could have been trying to help the victim and perhaps gone to get help. Objection! She said her that the blah 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 blah. Objection! Doesn't mean anything, one karma. Shut up. Sorry, Mr. Rye, but that does not constitute a bad argument for this time. Objection overruled. <laughs> Thank you. Press. I'm pressing everything right now. Burned a while ago. That's good. That's good. Okay, smooth talking. I'll give her that much. She is from Germany, after all. Oh, racist. Was she in a lot? I'm telling you about the Bermuda. So this is a solid testimony. Neck on the east break, Nick. Okay, now it stops. Trust you, Nick. Arrgh. Oh my god, shut up, I'm tired of seeing your face. Press! No point in pressing this. No depth. I'm centering down on how the, the, the Kenny is behaving. Oh, that was quiet, alright. Use some other words I don't feel like reading right now. It came back fairly late, I'd say about 3 a.m., give or take a minute or two. Guess I should start slide. Please continue. Hold it! Hold it! What section in specific? It was dark, so I used a flashlight, so I'm pretty sure it was maximum security. Yeah, right. Press harder. Please, try to remember. What do you remember the best? Any details? Shut up! Not dealing with your crap right now. Do you believe that the point deserves any attention? Yes. Yes, they must not leave any stone unturned. We request a defendant's testimony about it. The defense requires granted. Mr. Edgeworth, please tell us what you remember about the location. Yes, Your Honor. Test, test, test. I want this front, yeah, I must press him. Uh, every time she taunts, get and dies. Alright, mm -hmm. give me check. Would you stop, please? Stop, please! Save right here before I screw something up. Objection. Yeah! I didn't screw it up! Mr. Edgeworth, please clarify something for me. Just, na just now you said something interesting. You said that you remembered English lettering, right? Yes, that's right. I'll ask you one more time. Please remember the cell's name. Objection! Da -da -da. Objection! Francesca! Again, with the details, you might say, don't sweat it, right? Then don't sweat it. So you say it, but who's to say it won't be that anyways? That's it, I remember. I think I know where it is. Well, what is it, man? Out with it. It's Ultra Mega, that's where I was. Wah. Wah, fool. Wow. Wah. That's what's the most I've ever heard for a prison. Wait, how is this relevant? Da da da. Um, Edgeworth, is that what you meant by English lettering? Yes. 
That's that is not English. Say what? Say what? Talkative people that need to shut up? That's right. I would think of those words perfectly fine within the English language. In most cases, yes, but when it comes to prosecutor, those words have special meaning. Those from Greek and Latin alphabets. They're, uh, some Greek word. Dough! <laughs> He's like, OBJECTION! Right, I saw those words written in English. What are you trying to prove? Objection. I'm proving that you were never in the ultra echo before being knocked out. What has this changed? Nothing. It proves the defendant was tampering with the court. Objection. Objection. It changes everything. The keys in the floor plan. Edward was about to enter Ultimate when he saw the English lettering. In that the case, about to enter, about to enter. Could it be a path? But it's no path here, is there? Let's see now why. Maybe it's not to begin with. Edward is actually here. Oh god. Save the game. Yeah, go back. Yeah, see what I'm getting at? Do you know? Do you see what I'm getting at? Do you see what I'm getting at? Do you see what I'm getting at? Sir, do you see what I'm getting at? Okay. Sir, do you see what I'm getting at here? Do you see what I'm getting at? Do you see what I'm getting at? Okay. Oops. Um. Ultimega! Do you see what I'm getting at? But, no, that's retarded. But, didn't I already try all the rest? Oh my gosh, but I tried that. Okay, this is this is getting confusing. Oh, I, oh my gosh! What? Okay, you're confusing me, man. Um, I'm really confuzzled. That's literally what I'm looking at right now. Uh... <laughs> what am I looking at? All I'm seeing is these rooms! I mean, really? Come on. Am I supposed to click a certain place on it, or do I care about the text? I don't think I do. Come on. You're getting on my nerves so bad. Why did I click the same one? Then we did that. Take that. Oh my god. Why? Oh my gosh. 
That's the only place he could have been. This whole area. Oh my god! What? Did I say to move on? No. What? Do I care? Take that! What is going on? Must I have to use this picture? There's literally Take nothing that! here that's helping me. Take that! Oh my god. Come on, I'm tired of clicking on the exact same stuff. Take that! But... A wall. All it took was a wall. The entire time. Technically he was, right? Besides, he remembers this is a basic overhead map. It doesn't necessarily mean show every door, it's just an overhead map after all. Fools! Edgeworth is at the door. There's a door in that spot right there. In there. Down the back. There is. It's truly not a case. The Ultimate Mega One. And he was. And as he was precisely. As he was about to cross when he apparently got knocked out by the culprit. During those 20 minutes of being in the unconscious state. Either the murder occurred. Or it was set up. Objection! No. See this simply why you must be a von Karma. To avoid humiliation, you will suffer now. Excuse me, person face. Allow me to ask your Phoenix right. What does this prove? Nothing. It is absolutely nothing. Hey! No way! Indeed. I got it. That's the case, I'm afraid. It makes me ready to pass the verdict immediately. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Edgeworth. You may not you may step down now. No, not now. I was so close. If only I had something. Don't feel bad, Mr. Phoenix, right? I'm very sure that you learned a lesson today. Fools are to be quiet and follow their superiors at all times. I can't. I won't allow her this pleasure. But what am I supposed to do? I've got nothing else to use. Have you forgotten that you also have friends, especially a friend of me? There's only one person I know who would say something like that this time. It's... It's... Hold it! Dun dun dun! You forget, Phoenix? You're supposed to smile when things are at the very worst for your client. And now I save the game. Now I delete all the crappy other saves. Yay! Now let's put a smile. Let's put on a smile and wipe off that face off. Yay! Is this a game? It doesn't matter who gets here. You don't have any proof. The murder weapon has been found. Oh dang! What are you saying? The murder weapon is a knife, and it's right here. That's what I thought too, and time I went back to the detention center and look, take another look see. And look what I found, clearly hidden in the hallway under one of the pillows in his cells. A gun! Reckless, we never saw a gun in the the Did you say cell? Yes, the one place your selfish pride didn't bother to look in. Normal cells. Scruffy! <laughs> Bail for a ballistics marking testing on the bullet and fingerprint test on this gun now. 
That was a close call, but at least this definitely proves that I was right. The culprit is probably in jail. All that's left now to figure out is how to remove suspicion from his face. Yes, person thing. Oh yes, I forgot for Jessica's here. I got my work cut out for me. Miss Von Karma, what are the results of the test? The test revealed two things. First, the handgun has absolutely no fingerprints. And second, the bullet found in the victim's heart was indeed from that gun. From defense aid found thing. The court accepts this as evidence. Handgun added to the court record. Looks like I made it just in time. How are you holding up, Phoenix? Are you serious? I thought I was good as dead. All the more reason to put on your biggest smile, then. Well, I must take this time to evaluate this turn of events, as I am hungry. The recess is in order. Out of your recess for an hour. Use this time to evaluate your case. Yes, Your Honor. As if he thinks of anything about himself. Fine. Very well, then. The score is adjourned for a one-hour recess. To be continued. Well. Okay, guys. It looks like we really did it. Somehow. So I'm going to end the video here. And yeah, see you guys next video. Bye.